Hi everyone, in today's video you're going to see this vintage sewing machine I found and when I picked it up I realized it was also a music box, it's pretty cool. Next you're going to see this University of Louisiana at Monroe football helmet and it's their old logo which makes it a little more valuable and about eight or nine other items that I bought during the day. So if you want to know why I picked them out and how much I paid, don't you go anywhere. Well, here we are at the first store today. And the last time I was here, a customer noticed me from the videos so they were following me all around the store, which made things kind of awkward. So today I thought I'd wear a disguise so if those people were here, they wouldn't follow me again. So I came up with this and I said, eh, these probably aren't good enough. They'll probably still recognize me. So I discarded this idea. Then I came up with this idea. I put these on and you just wind up the nose. And now I don't think anybody recognized me. So let's go inside and start our treasure hunt. As soon as I got to this aisle, I was assuming my disguise was working because no one was getting within 20 feet of me. I even said hello to this lady and, and she ran like crazy. So I don't know what her problem was. So I continued down the aisle. I went over to the mugs and started scanning them. I saw a few I liked, but nothing that really, really interested me. So I walked over to the next aisle. The next aisle I hit on my journey was this toy aisle. And the first thing I saw was this Funko Pop Toy Story figures. There was two of them. It was Buzz Lightyear and Woody. They were going for $4.98. But I looked them up and shockingly they were only going for like $10. So I had to put it back. The next thing I came up to was this Game of Thrones vinyl figure. This was the dragon from the show. I don't know how to pronounce his name. It was Vinyl Titans. This was going $2.98, but this was going for $15, so I took this one. This Goodwill has a second room that, where they sell stuff. See there, it says more store. This room mostly has furniture and mattresses and some couches, so I usually don't go in here. But it's been a slow day, so I thought I'd take a look. I spent about 10 or 15 minutes in this room. I didn't find anything, just as I thought. But then the manager came out and told me if I didn't take off my glasses, she was going to ban me for life. So I took them off and I headed out to the main floor, hoping to find some better stuff. This shelf had a lot of nice stuff on it, or at least a lot of stuff that caught my eye. First thing I saw was this cat in a bag. It was a wind-up music box. It was only $2.98. But I looked them up. It was only going for $10. So as cute as it was, I had a pass on it. The next thing I saw was this Angel Cheeks figure. I sell a lot of them. This one was only $1.18. It said, I love you. They go for about 12 bucks, so I kept it. Well, this store was kind of a disappointment. I thought I'd just take the two items that I found and take my disguise and head to the next store. I'll see you outside. Well, the manager took my glasses and broke them. So I won't be able to wear my disguise anymore today. Or ever. But it was still fun. And now we'll head to the next store. And continue our journey. At this store, this was the first aisle I came across. The first item I came across were these ice traction slip-ons for your shoes so you don't slip on the ice. They were $1.99. When I looked them up, they only went for eight bucks, so I passed on them. The next few items were just nothing that interested me. And then I saw these, this John Deere tractor. It was $3.99. It was the plastic version. The metal ones go for more money, but I figured at $3.99 I could still make a profit, so I kept it. I decided to walk down this aisle, and the first thing I saw were these alcohol inks. They were $3.99. That was a little too much money for me. They only go for about 
These dolphins were just cheap dollar store item. Then I saw this bag for $2.99. They were Christmas ornaments, but they were really cheap ornaments, so I passed. Next, I saw this baby portable movement monitor. It was $4.99. I looked them up. They were going for like $30, so I kept this. On this next aisle, the first thing I saw were these shower curtain rings, but they were cheap. I passed on them. They were nothing. Then I came across this wooden box. It was $4.99. It said Dexter on it. I opened it up. It had coasters. I said, that's kind of expensive for coasters, so I put it back. Then later I realized it's from the Showtime show Dexter. I looked them up on eBay, and they were going for over 20 bucks. So I'm going to go back tomorrow and see if they're still there. Sometimes you miss these things. The last thing I saw in this aisle was this Baldwin Christmas ornament. It was a tropical fish. It was $1.99. They usually sell for $12 to $15, so I took that. This house started out okay. It had some interesting items. Nothing I could make money on. The first thing I saw I did take interest in was this Ark. It was, I guess, Noah's Ark. It was $6.99. It was also a music box, but it was cheaply made, so I passed. This also was $6.99 in a music box. It had mice and a pirate ship. But, again, I couldn't make money on it. So I just figured it was time to go to another aisle and see what I could find there. When I got to this aisle, the first thing I saw were these Mickey Mouse drink coasters. They were $2.99. A little bit too expensive, so I passed on them. The next thing I saw was this cheese wedge set. It was $3.99. It was really cool looking. They were little mice on, as handles. But when I looked them up, they were only selling for $9, so I had a pass on it. The next thing I saw that really caught my eye was this miniature sewing machine. When I picked it up, I found out it was also a music box. And it was only $5.99. And there were moving parts on it, too, when you wound it up. So I kept this. Well, it was time to go. I think I should make money on that sewing machine. It's old enough and it's unique enough that I should get between 30 and $40. And I should make a profit off the other items too. I had to stop thrifting early yesterday. So this is day number two. And we're outside that store where I saw the Dexter drink coasters. I don't think they'll be inside, but maybe we'll get lucky. So follow me and see if they're there. Before I went to look for the Dexter coasters, I wanted to stop at their toy aisle. I seem to have a lot of luck at their toy aisle. The first thing I saw was this mini helmet from the University of Louisiana. It was $1.99. I sell these helmets a lot, and I get pretty good money for them. So I, I kept that. I wanted to do an update on this mini helmet. I did a little research, and I found out it's from the University of Louisiana Monroe. But the logo was different. So I did a little more research, and I found out that this helmet is an older helmet when they used to be called the Indians. Today they're called the Warhawks. So because of its age, I didn't put it on buy it now. I put it on a bid. And last night I got my first bid, 1995, and it still has six days to run. So I think I'll do okay with this helmet. So it just shows you a little research and you can make yourself extra money. Okay, now back to the video. Right away I saw these two airplanes. It was by Historical Aviation. They were $5.99, but they were going for over 20 bucks. I went back to the aisle and I took the second one for the same reasons I took the first one, and I moved on. I decided to try this one more aisle before I went to see if the Dexter coasters were here. First thing I came across was this Disney, this Disney mug from the movie Cars. It was $1.99 but I passed on it. Right next to it, I saw this alarm clock. It was completely nuts, it was called. It was an M&M's alarm clock. It was $6.99, but they only go for about $12, so I passed on it. Next to that was this handheld car game. It was called High Speed Run. It was a NASCAR type game. It was $2.99. They go for 15 bucks, so I kept it. This next aisle is why I came to this store. I wanted to know if those Dexter drink coasters were still here. So I started walking down the aisle, and there they were, pretty much right where I had left them. They were still there. They were intact. I wasn't going to pass on them this time, so I put them in the cart. 
I had only come to the store to see if those Dexter coasters were still here. And since I had looked through this store thoroughly yesterday, it was time to leave and head to another store. So I'll meet all you guys in the car. Well, I have an update for you guys. The Louisiana Monroe football helmet got six more bids. It's up to twenty-seven forty-five, and there's still five more days left on the auction. That's, I figure I'm going to get about fifty bucks for this little helmet that I paid a dollar ninety-eight for. I also have a little bit of bad news. We're outside the Goodwill, and the girl came out and told me that they're closing because of the coronavirus, and they won't be open until further notice. So. That's the end of today's video, but remember, stay safe and happy hunting.